Hi, my name is Ali, and this video is going to be about healing mother wounds or the feminine side of yourself. So I made an earlier video about healing from masculine wounds or healing from an unhealthy father, and so this video is going to be directed more towards healing from an unhealthy mother. Because a lot of times, a lot of us grew up without having a healthy mother or father. A lot of times it's both. So it's important to look at our masculine wounds and also our feminine wounds so we can heal into more wholesome people. Um, because if we don't look at these things as adults, then a lot of our trauma from not having fully present mothers or fathers or family will affect us as adults. So a lot of us, unfortunately, we do have to heal from dysfunctional families. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is by no means a comprehensive list. So this is just something that I think is really important to address when healing the feminine side, but there are so many more ways to heal feminine wounds. So I just wanted to let you know, I'm not a professional, I'm not coming at it from that angle, I'm coming at it more from a personal angle. So not everyone had a healthy mother who was able to be nourishing and emotionally available in their lives. And that is by no means any fault of the child whatsoever. A lot of children, we tend to blame ourselves because as children, we have no idea what's going on. So the first thing we do is blame ourselves. So as adults, we have to see that. And luckily I had a therapist who really helped me see that. So we have to learn how to not blame ourselves as adults for what we went through as a child. A healthy parent should be there to meet a child's needs emotionally, physically, psychologically, in all these different ways, like that is the responsibility of a parent. Every child needs a healthy parent to mirror their emotions, especially their mother, because the mother is the more nourishing figure. So it's really crucial in the early stages of a child's development to have a mother there to be emotionally available to mirror the emotions of a child. And this is necessary for developing the child's individuality. So mirroring should be occurring at an early age, and it's when a parent uses vocalizations, expressions, sounds, and things like that to help the child associate the emotion with the expression of the emotion. And doing these things helps to validate the child and it shows approval of the emotions that they're experiencing and that they're expressing. And when a child has had an adequate amount of mirroring, it allows them to feel safe in experiencing their emotions and safe in expressing their emotions. So this helps really helps to validate the child and every healthy person needs to feel valid in their emotions and it's important to really learn how to feel okay with what you're feeling. This helps a child feel secure in their emotions and that it's okay to feel the way that they're feeling. So a lot of us had parents that when we were children they weren't emotionally available to mirror and help us to validate our emotions and the expression of our emotions. So this would cause us to feel like it's not okay to feel what we're feeling and that creates a person that is insecure and can't validate their own feelings enough to really process their feelings and then express their feelings in a healthy way. So if we didn't get emotionally validated when we were young, we're going to have a really hard time accepting our own emotions. And when we don't allow ourselves to fully experience our emotions, they kind of become trapped in our body so to speak. So we're just not able to process them and just circulate in a healthy manner. It's a lot of times they become stuck and they become bottled up and that creates a lot more issues. So when something like this happens, and it has happened to a lot of us, this is going to cause a lot of issues in our interpersonal relationships. So pretty much across the board, like our relationship with pretty much everyone, not just romantic relationships, but friendships, work relationships, it just causes issues when we are not allowing ourselves to experience our emotions and express them. In order to have a healthy relationship with the world, we need to be able to validate our own emotions, process them, and that allows us to express them in a healthy way. If we're unable to do that, we're gonna have a really, really hard time in expressing ourselves in pretty much any aspect of our lives when we're interacting with other people. If we had an emotionally unavailable mother, we have to learn how to therefore do that for ourselves. Like everything that our parents didn't do or that our family couldn't do for us, as adults, we have to learn how to bring that back to ourselves. We have to learn how to create something for ourselves that was not given to us before. So it's gonna be really important to take the time to validate your own emotions. So there was a point in my life where I realized that I wasn't able to fully experience my emotions and therefore wasn't able to express them in a healthy way. It took a lot of turmoil for me to finally just sit down and realize that I had to process my own emotions. I had to learn how to validate my own feelings and my emotions so that I could process them. 
So I found writing to be really helpful, just writing about how I'm feeling, asking myself how I'm feeling. That's going to be so important is just to check in with yourself throughout the day and say, you know, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? Because a lot of times as children, we grew up not being asked how we're feeling. If we had emotionally unavailable parents, we kind of just felt like, you know, we had to go along with whatever was happening. And a lot of us were in survival mode. So when we're in survival mode, our feelings are not important at that moment. So as adults, we need to create an environment where we're getting out of survival mode. And hopefully we're able to do that and provide enough for ourselves so that we could have the time and the space to work on being able to validate and process our own emotions. I realized that I've hid behind layers of cover-up emotions because I was avoiding feeling other emotions that were more painful and more vulnerable. In my family, vulnerability was a weakness, so people were not very vulnerable. And they weren't vulnerable about negative or positive things. It was just like a non-vulnerability type of environment. So a lot of times when people did experience emotions, it would get bottled up and then it would come out as volatility. So someone who has had proper and healthy mirroring in their lives, they don't have a problem with expressing their emotions. They don't have a problem with feeling them and they can express them in a healthy way. And I just really wanted to reaffirm that because there is a healthy way to feel your emotions and to express them. And it's okay to be vulnerable and to learn how to feel safe in your own emotions. And when we can experience and express our emotions in a healthy way, it makes it easier to advocate for ourselves and to set healthy boundaries. And I'm speaking so much about emotional validation in this video about healing mother wounds because while there are so many other things involved in healing the feminine side, I really do think that mothers should be there to be that emotionally validating part to their child like the feminine is about nourishment to me that's why I'm speaking so much about this in this video and sure I may make other videos about healing different aspects of the feminine side but this is I just feel is really important when healing mother wounds and as far as nurturing yourself and self-care I think one of the biggest ways to be there to nurture yourself is to be present for your emotions like yes present for your body physically and in so many other ways too but just really being there for your own emotions I think a lot of us are missing that I think self-care gets associated with things like you know taking baths getting a manicure pedicure you know beautifying yourself but to me that's yeah that's you know personal like hygiene or it's like beauty stuff but to me self-care really comes from the inside so it's really about taking that time to go within there are so many distractions in life so just being able to take that time to really be there for yourself and really check in with yourself I think is really really important and that takes time it's not like a one minute thing I think if we haven't been having proper like personal hygiene and I don't mean physical hygiene like brushing your teeth or brushing your hair kind of things I mean like just like emotional hygiene it's just like you know we have to regularly check in with our emotions and it's also really important to not judge these emotions and see emotions as good or bad they are our emotions if we're feeling them we're feeling them and of course we're responsible for how we express these emotions to other people because there are ways that we can hurt other people if we don't express them in a healthy way so we're responsible for our reactions but any emotion that we're feeling like it's okay to feel that even if you think that it's wrong or it's bad or don't you know don't try not to feel bad about feeling a certain way we feel the way we feel because it's telling us something maybe we need to heal from something maybe we need to talk to someone about something there's so many reasons why we feel the way that we feel so don't blame yourself don't judge yourself you know just try to understand yourself and have as much compassion for yourself as you possibly can and again I highly suggest using writing as a tool to figure out your own emotions maybe just writing about hey you know I'm feeling this way today or you know maybe maybe writing out something that you experienced with someone else just regularly checking in with yourself in writing about how you feel sometimes we do just need to process emotions like if we've had a stuck emotion just lingering there it's helpful to write about it and process it and sometimes we do need to address someone else if someone hurt us sometimes we do need to address it depends on the situation and the relationship with the person depends on all these different factors but it can be healthy to also open up to someone about you know how we felt about certain things there's so many positive things that writing can bring about because it can help us find a little bit more clarity about ourselves and what we're going through so again just try not to have any judgment on yourself a healthy mother does not judge her child a healthy mother does not 
say, you know, you shouldn't be feeling that way. That is so unhealthy to tell someone that they shouldn't be feeling a certain way. You know, we can't help the way that we feel. And remember, a healthy mother always has compassion for their child. And why I'm reiterating what a healthy mother would do is because if we didn't have a healthy mother, we need to be that healthy mother for ourselves. So we have to figure out what would a healthy mother do in this situation. And a healthy mother has the emotional availability, the physical availability, just the availability to be there to help the child you know, process their emotions or just to be present for their emotions, to have compassion for their emotions. A healthy mother is able to put their child's needs before their own within reason. Of course, a healthy mother, you know, knows how to take care of herself too, but the child really does come as a priority and a lot of children were not priorities to their parents due to so many reasons, you know, survival mode, emotional unavailability. So as adults, we have to learn how to put ourselves first. The most important thing we can do is put ourselves first and really take care of ourselves, have compassion, check in with ourselves. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments if this resonates with you or if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too. If you like this video, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more content. And I hope to see you in the next one.